Hi, I'm B-Rad, and welcome to the B-Rad Video Show. i got some cool pickups I want to show you guys. I'm going to make this kind of a quick one, so let's get started. Okay, uh, first of all, I got uh, Golden Sun, The Lost Age. It's a Game Boy Advance game. Um, I played the original Golden Sun and finished it. It was really good, and uh, but it leaves you on kind of a cliffhanger. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. It's supposed to continue the story from where the first one left off. Um, I played the first one years ago, though, so I don't really remember what was going on in the story at the time. I might have to try that one again, or maybe watch a video on YouTube. Who knows? Okay, uh, this next one is Advance Wars, and um, I haven't played this yet, but I've been watching some videos of it, and it looks really, really cool. I've actually heard quite a bit about it before, and it looks a lot like uh, this game Field Commander I like to play for PSP, uh, kind of mixed with uh, Super Conflict from SNES. Anyway, it's like a war game, and you, uh, you get different units, infantries and tanks and uh, fighters and bombers and stuff like that. Um, the, the grid mostly reminds me of uh, Field Commander, but when you get into a battle, it kind of goes into a battle screen, which reminds me of the Super Conflict series. Uh, really cool, Advanced Wars. Okay, this next one is a Bomberman Quest for Game Boy Color. And uh, I haven't played this one either. Uh, I've been checking it out, and it does look pretty cool. It looks kind of like, a, almost like Link's Awakening mixed with a Bomberman game. I've got to see if the two of them work well together. It looks interesting, but um, you never know. It seems more like an experimental type of game to me. Anyway, I like Bomberman a lot, and I like RPGs, so I'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, next I got, uh, well, it's Game Shark for uh, Game Boy Color. Uh, plays for Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, the original Game Boy. That's pretty much it, but that's pretty cool. Never get stuck on any of those tough games. You always try using the Game Shark. Okay, this next game is a Donkey Kong Country. This is complete in the box. It's got the manual and everything in there. And, uh, you know, this is like the Donkey Kong Country, like SNES, but on Game Boy Color. That way you can take it anywhere you want. They did originally, or eventually come out with one for uh, Game Boy Advance. It would be a lot more like playing the original game. But this is still pretty cool. I remember being pretty amazed uh, when they came out with this on Game Boy. It, that, you know, they made it look as good as they did. And it's also cool to have a complete one here. Okay, this is the last game I got to show you guys. Uh, this is Final Fantasy III for SNES. This is awesome. This is one of the best uh, SNES games that came out. It depends, I guess, unless you're not in RPGs, but I think a lot of people would agree that's really awesome. Um, I remember when I was uh, younger, I played uh, Chrono Trigger, and that was a fantastic game. I loved playing it. So I had a friend. I was like, do you have any more games that are like Chrono Trigger? And he loaned me this one. And um, this is probably as close as you can get, I'd say. I really, really enjoyed it, and it's what made me fall in love with the Final Fantasy series, because I never played Final Fantasy games up until I played this. Um, excellent game. There's tons of characters to use, and um, it had a really cool story. And uh, after this, I, like I said, fell in love with Final Fantasy. Anyway, what do you guys think? Please leave some comments. Have you guys picked up any awesome games lately that you'd like to talk about? Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and then tap that bell icon to get an update or more notifications of the B-Red Video Show. I'll see you guys next time.